Hello everybody, I am Gunmetal Engineer. Let me touch, and by touch I mean probably another half an hour video. Let me talk about camouflage. My opinions are my opinions. Camouflage doesn't matter on a heavy tank. Doesn't. Do I put it on it? Sure. Reality is, if you're playing your heavy the right way, you're out in the city fighting other heavies. It's expected that you're seen. Um, uh, tank destroyers. Camo is very important. You are sitting in the back. You are being a little sniper. You're being, you know, sneaky. You're you're hiding. You're you're camoing up. You're you're getting behind a bush. You're 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 playing the visual spotted game. Um, Artie. Frankly, for the most part, I. I don't think it matters a ton. Um, by the time you're expected to be spotted in a game, if you're playing an arty, it's a light. He's coming in on you. And frankly, you're, you're done two seconds later. That light's going to come straight in for you. He's going to run the back line. He's going to find you. He's going to shoot you. I... I don't think you're going to have a lot of luck sitting in the back evading the light. He's faster than you. He's got better view range than you. He's going to find you. Frankly, if I had something else that I wanted to train my crew for, I would probably do it before... I trained it for camo. Mediums, kind of the same as heavies. You shouldn't be sitting sniping from a bush. You should be fairly aggressive. You should be out there on the battlefield. You should be seen. About the only time it really matters is if you're trying to get go across the map for some reason. When you're coming back to reset your, your cap. Maybe that slight advantage of camouflage may in some little way matter to you. How often does that happen? For me, I don't go back to reset. Hardly ever. Yeah, I'm a dick. I know. Fuck you too. Um, I don't. If I'm in a fucking heavy and I'm closer to their cap, I'm going to roll to their cap. Especially if somebody else is heading back. Maybe they get the reset while I sit on cap and try to get this cap. The enemy cap. It depends on how you like to play. And in a light? Fuck yeah. Camo, camo, camo. And I'm going to show you four ways that I know. I was thinking three. But there's a fourth way to have camo in a light tank. So I say I have three things I say on my stream. A. Never drive stock. Obviously in premiums that's the only fucking configuration. Never drive naked. Fuck yeah that's funny. Never drive naked. But you're going to remember that forever. Never drive naked. A.K.A. fucking camo that big, right? Um, never drive naked, never drive stock, and never drive anything over tier 5 with less than a 100% crew. Arguably even 4. Depends if you want to, you know, sit on the SA server and seal club the rest of your life and then yeah fuck go uh go dump some crew books and get yourself eight skills uh the rest of us that have a uh 
goal in life to progress through the game and not just sit in tier two and three and four and five we um we're going to uh we're going to move our tanks up um okay camo um this the tiger 131 is a horrible example this is considered camoed um But what happened? <laughs> this chaffy, this BK, this cockroach, right? Um, if it's got the skin. See, these accounts are kind of goofed because I piss away my stupid decals that I don't want and I put them on low tier shit. Here it is. AMR 35. That thing's naked. Naked is the day it came off the factory. Right? It's a naked tank. What's gunmetal's rule? Never drive naked. Goddamn right. Alright. So. Exterior. Preset. Filter for your garage. Maybe you have something there. Fuck. Why go buy new shit if you already have something sitting there? Fucking use it up. Apply that shit. Done. You're fucking camoed. I'm not about to be that fucking stupid. <laughs> I'm gonna camo that little guy. Anyway, apply and exit. Um, exterior. Custom. Hey, oh fuck! Look at this paint, man. See, I can take this and I can make, I can make that German gray. Woo! You see that shit? Woo! Fuck yeah. Oh yeah! Look at my fucking here. Let's do it for the winter too. Woo! Fuck yeah! paint that thing. Woo. I'm that guy. Honest to God, I'm that fucking guy. I took the uh, Panzer B2, aka the French B1 that was captured, and I did exactly this. I'm a fucking idiot. I also took the Chinese uh, Tiger IV, and I turned it back to German, and then I captured it. How do I mean? It was this green. It was this shit green. And then I went, okay. And I turned it back to German gray. And then I went and I went to... Apparently inscriptions. Can't be inscriptions. Must be decals. And I took... The American flag. Here we are. Boom. Took these. Not the wavy. I didn't want the wavy. And I went like this. And I slapped it right in the front. Boom. There you go, bitch. We took it from the Japanese. Made it not Japanese green. Put it back to German gray. And then slammed America across it. <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys are like, oh, God. This is like Barbie, and you can accessorize. Eh, pretty much. That camo? This paint? P-A-I-N-T paint? That you buy for gold? You're driving naked. I, t I decorate it, I'm driving naked. That paint counts as zeros. Counts for nothing. Now, camouflage that you spend in here. And like I say, guys... You join a clan? Here, you join a clan, you're getting a clan. Fuck, I used it. <laughs> I already used it up. But there's, you get one just for joining a clan. Boom. Um, whatever, together we stand, I don't know, something like that. It's got some group-orientated name to it. Um, you get a friend to join up. 
he passes missions, you're getting piece by piece. That's a reward for um, uh, recruiting somebody into this game. Um, you go and you pass the Christmas bullshit, you're getting all kinds of this crap. There's, at this point, as much shit as they give away, you kind of don't even need to really buy much for camo. Um, personally, I camo everything tier 6 and above. Same as my crew. Don't drive anything tier 6 and above with, a, you know, under 100% crew. It, it's like tier 6 seems to be that spot for me that I'm like, this is where I start spending. Um, so yeah. You can go to exterior. You can do a preset style or a custom style. Uh, they were talking about doing it, but as far as I know, did not implement that if you put an inscription or an emblem or a decal, it gives you some form of a bonus. And that rumor is definitely out there among people. I am fucking about as positive as a guy can be that that was not implemented and there is no additional bonus for having that. Um, so, my Rombi is decorated. Look at him. Brings a tear to my eye, really. Alright, so I'm ready for battle. Mm, no. This is, I just looked, I think it's 4%. Well, here, let's go look. Let's go look so I get my numbers right. 4% bonus to concealment on all maps. All maps. Summer, winter, desert. Boom. Let's get out of this. Alright. So I find me a bush. Come on. Find me a bush like this one up in here. Okay. And fuck, maybe I'm lucky and it's next to a, a rock like this that's also taller offers me a little bit of uh, cover as well as concealment right and I get about a barrel length away so my bush would be right about here and I'm shooting at an enemy beyond well beyond there's uh there's three rings on your map and I'll go over that someday too with you that tells you the distance that you are spotted the distance that they can see you if you shoot, and the distance that you can see. We'll go over that in a different video. Um, so I'm bushed up, and I have my painted on camo. And I go and I pull the trigger of this bad boy. Next thing, bing, my sixth sense goes off. What? You can make this a sneakier fuck. You can. Put you on a camo net. And offers you an additional 15% to concealment. When put in the firepower category. Nope, that's wrong. Okay, never mind. If there was an I, that's what it is. If this was an I down here, this is a firepower category. Which means I actually need to switch these around. Good thing I fucking came in here. Um... Grammar is in the firepower category, as is the lying drive. Come on. Oops. Come on. Switch me again. No, switch me again. There. Now my categories match. Firepower category. Firepower. Fucking. Duh. Duh. Man, I'm glad I came in here. I accidentally figured something else out. Now, if that was I, if that was an I category here, then you'd move your eyes, your net, net is an I, or your low exhaust. Oh, shit, there's another way to camo. Fuck, I forgot about that. If you really want to be a sneaky bitch, <laughs> You can do that too. That'll help you with your. That'll help with your uh, ability to be seen. Yeah, I forgot about that. Um, so anyway, 
you put your net in, there's another 15%. And then you go to your crew. Camouflage, 100%. Camouflage, 100%. Camouflage, 100%. Camouflage, what? 73%. Uh, if that was 75%, um, 75%, point seven five divided by four crew members, you're only losing 18.7%. Minus, so 18, 75 minus 18, that's wrong. Either way, you're, ideally, ideally you're, you're, you're not truly, what I'm getting at is you're not truly 100% camo. But when this guy gets to 100%, you can hit increase. I don't have the free experience to do it. Or a crew book to do it. Once this guy truly hits a hundred percent, you're you're um, you are one hundred percent camoed as as much as the crew can accomplish. So that's two ways: having a hundred percent crew, getting that bonus, the bonus of the tank the bonus of the camouflage net when you fire the tank the net comes off for a second you hear this like click actually you will hear the click when it reapplies either way it'll show you that the net is on or the net is off um and firing the gun makes you more prone to be seen. Like, you know, the muzzle flash thing, right? Um, sitting behind a bush. That's another good way. So I'm I, I'm in a, a double row of bushes. A bush here, a bush behind me, a bush on this side. I'm boxed in by bushes. Or I'm sitting on some trail and it's just this big fucking line of bushes. Well, make sure, do this, rotate your tank, and look, if you can see any part of your tank, so can the enemy. Um, I zoom out as far as I can. Um, people say, well, you have to be in the bush with the tank destroyer. No. The way I know it to be true is in a tank destroyer, you're a barrel length from the bush. If you're in a light and you're trying to scout, passive scout with a light, you are in the bush. Um, in the bush, you're entirely surrounded by the bush. People are going to have it a hard time to find you. If you fire the gun, you're fucked. Don't fire your fucking gun if you're passively scouting. You're a passive scout. Do not fire your gun. So, there's a couple ways. And, I can, and I'll show you in other videos. I'll actually do some gameplay. And I'm sure I'll mention like, hey, that's where I fucked up. Hey, I wasn't in the bush. Hey, I was this. Hey, I was that. But um, the only other thing I can really think of, and I just barely even fucking thought of it. Low noise exhaust. I'm not about to fucking put it on there. I do not want to put it on there. 5% to concealment. What tanks would I do this to? I don't have it. ELC even 90. That's one sneaky fucking little bitch. If you want to scout ELC even 90 every day. Sit in a bush. Do this camo. Do your camo there. Oh. Brothers in Arms, if Brothers in Arms is 100% like uh, 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 trained, 
there's an additional bonus that you get to all skills. All skills. Improves major qualification and blah, 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 blah. There you go. Uh, if you really want to fucking just every little fucking second that you can get, uh, put a vent on. Vent helps with uh, everything. Crew and everything. So, uh, if you absolutely want it the most camouflaged it can be and you, you just plan on never pulling the trigger and you just want to passively scout, that would probably be what I would try. Um... Eva 90 ELC. It's a tier 8 premium. Otherwise, this little cockroach, this sneaky little motherfucker. Fuck, I've sat in bushes, and the guy's no further out than the one, two, third tent. And I'm sitting behind just this minorest of rock with a bush in front of it. And I'm firing, and he's a heavy. Heavies are a lot more blind than a tank destroyer or a light or a medium or anything. And he's like, where'd that come from? Fucker's in his tank confused shitting himself because his fucking buddy over there got shot. So it really matters on what type of tank you have as to the amount of camo that it even matters. Um, and how camoed you can be. Uh, SU-100Y. Wrong account. Oh my god. SU-100Y is this big fucking hot tub looking thing. This big old fucking beast. It's a fucking tank destroyer. It is. You can camo that fucking thing all you want. That's like a railroad car. <laughs> Uh, you fire that thing, you're, you're pretty much spotted. It's it's that kind of big and just, I mean, it's what it is. Concealment. Look at that. Concealment. Really fucking low. Really fucking low. 110 on the concealment scale. Now let's go to El Cacarocha. Concealment. 708. Seven times. Nearly. <laughs> oh, wait. I forgot the crew. <laughs> 1,061 on the scale. So nearly 10 times the concealment over the 100Y. Um, here, remember 1061. Let's, um, let's put that low noise piece of shit on here. It's stupid. It's for science. So from 1061 to 1106. I just made that thing even more stealthy. God. And when that crew hits 100%, it'll even be more. And I'm sure if I got rid of that rammer... And I put a vent on. No, oh, I just want to look. I just want to look. It's not going to let me just look. But I'm 90% sure that if I put a vent on, that number goes up again. My firepower goes down. Oh, yeah, it does. Because now I've lost the rammer. But price you pay. Um... Yeah, like I say, Artie, I do camo him, fucking right. Yep. Fuck, I even train the crews. I don't care. But in the actual big picture, and I did this so long ago that I, I fucked it up. Um, mentor, great. Um, do I need six cents? Fuck no. Um... You know, uh, it's a, a, a turretless, uh, um, it's basically like shooting a tank destroyer, but it's SPG. Uh, anything to help you with aim. Um, driver, it's, again, turretless. So, um, 
maybe like clutch braking so you turn just a hair faster um something like that um you know it's your tank you know something like that could definitely be a better option for you um because like i say that light's going to come in he's going to scream across the map he's going to be right there in the back and when you're seen the whole team sees you and you're out uh, spgs are generally unless they're counter artied out or your team lets a light in you're sitting in the back you're one of the last ones dead uh b-o-h-i-c-a bend over here it comes again um lights play the camo game tank destroyers play the camo game mediums wouldn't be the first thing i did camo the tank fuck no in a medium i'm gonna want to i'm gonna worry about handling i am gonna want that thing to handle because i know i'm gonna be out there i'm gonna be a little slower than the light but the lights end up dead a lot so now you're basically kind of have to go out and do some spotting but also do some brawling um, depending on the team makeup so you're going to want to deal a little more in there you go snapshot there you go smooth ride you're going to want something that helps here firepower survivability um, and you're heavy uh, they're not very mobile surprisingly the tiger is a little bit mobile you, you want more you're 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 dealing with can your armor take the hit um so are you worried about sitting in the back corner and waiting for the enemy to come to you mostly not mostly you're going to town and if the enemy's on our base it's because they went through you and you were unsuccessful so i think i've talked about camo about as much as i can and my just i mean fuck it it's my opinion you go fucking do the exact opposite it doesn't matter this is just my this is nine years and fifty thousand battles plus another thousand battles here i think all my accounts all together all of my not necessarily re-rolls but all my recruiter accounts and everybody all together well, I have 50,000 straight up on my main. I'm sure I have another 10. Fuck, I might have more than 10. Might have 1,500 on each of those um, recruiter accounts. Um, either way, I mean, I've, I've... And I'm, what, nine seasons in, so I have 18 tanks. Because you get two per season, and this is season nine. So I have 18 other tanks out there somewhere plus this guy i decided i was going to re-roll this ain't linked to anything stupid me um you know I've, I've yeah i've potentially got like 20 accounts do i do i easily have another you know, 20 000 battles yeah absolutely so maybe i'm sitting close to seventy-five thousand all totaled oh well am i a better player because of it mm, not necessarily um, so be it, right? Um, this is just, like, my opinion. This is, I've been here nine years. I'm coming up ten days from nine years. Um, you know, this is my observations. Uh, take any piece of it out that you want, or spit it all out. I, thanks for watching. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do some more videos here tonight, too, so keep keep looking they're coming